So much of education is getting educated about the process of education and fitting in with it. So things like diversity, equity, inclusion statements, they have a positive value in weirding out, weeding out weirdos who are unwilling to do things that they don't believe in simply for the sake of uh, getting along. Right to get along with people from a spouse to a cousin to people at your church or synagogue or workplace, right? You have to go along with a bunch of nonsense, and if you're unwilling to put up with nonsense, you're going to have a real hard time maintaining any relationships. So admission to an elite university is usually seen as a marker of intellectual merit, and it helps if your profile fits the school's image of itself that you fit in with the right people, right? That you make the right signals about diversity, equity, and inclusion, that you're on the right side, and that you despise the trads. So academic merit is in part not just objective excellence, it's a social, social construction of the ruling liberal elites. It's an institutional filter designed to weed out conservatives and set the stage for widespread liberal domination. And this is first inculcated in the university, and these elite tastes and habits are later enforced with the threat of social ostracism. It's simply assumed on Manhattan's Upper West Side or in the CBS newsroom that one has the correct liberal opinions, and those who do not will simply stop receiving dinner invitations. The ostracism of conservatives is an essential part of progressive behavior. So the elite universities have replaced the old WASP regime of social virtue revolving around gentility and honor and moral character. Now we have a new regime of intellectual virtue revolving around raw mental firepower. Now, conservative claimants of social virtue of cultural oppression says that these are social virtues in disguise. In the elite universities, the symbol of the new American elite, the new establishment, it is no longer just a way of thinking. It is built in mind furniture you take for granted without needing to think. So our nation is filled inexorably with airheads. Nominally educated, formally educated, yet ignorant, trained, and groomed like prize puppies to be good liberals. A classic example of that is the Trump shooting. Right? Anyone familiar with high-powered rifles who saw what happened and heard what happened would have known within 10 seconds that this was an assassination attempt. But the dominant liberal media followed the protocol. You don't call something an assassination until a law enforcement bureaucracy has conducted an investigation and declared it an assassination. So if you followed conservative common sense, right, you would have known it was an assassination within 10 seconds, just like you would have known in 2020 that uh, Joe Biden had uh, senility issues. So just as the classic finishing schools strove to inculcate a certain physical posture, so now the elite universities inculcate a certain mental and moral and spiritual posture through which to announce yourself as curious and broad-minded that you're given to scientific detachment and dispassionate analysis, that you're a member of the anointed in good standing, right? So your self-esteem becomes tethered to liberalism. You become prize puppy liberals who do not see their intellectualism as an exercise in social signaling.